Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope that you all are having a wonderful day and that you watch this video till the very end. Chang Fiji must have done this on purpose. I'm sure he realized that I heard his secret at the internet cafe. That's why he's pretending to not know me in front of the class president to intimidate me into shutting up. Are you guys hungry? The service is a bit slow, but the food is cheap and delicious. Can a rent on place like this even make tasty food? Where did these candies come from? Here's something to snack on. Thanks. This brand's milk candies are delicious. Hmm, I'm actually feeling a bit hungry now. Their food's pretty good. The portions are decent too. Right? The ingredients are fresh since the owner picks them up herself. There are even more good restaurants near 6th Middle School. I'll bring you guys there next time. Alright. I hope I don't run into these guys again. My bike's parked over there, so I'll be leaving first. Today was amazing. Let's keep in touch so we can study and improve together. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Hey. Um, I was saying, shit, I just blurted it out. I don't even know what I want to tell him. This is all that's left with me. I'm not a kid. This isn't what I mean. I was saying that I was sitting beside you at the internet cafe. Hmm? I won't beat around the bush. I overheard your call and heard your secret. As long as you don't expose those embarrassing things I did, then consider your secret safe with me. What secret? How can this guy keep his composure? Isn't he scared of me outing him? I'm not as shameless as you are. Uh, anyway, your silence means yes.
Then tell me, what is your relationship with that woman? Why did you call the child home? You should go up first. I have something to discuss with your mother. I came home myself. Mom didn't ask me to come home. Don't assume that I don't know what's going on just because you won't tell me anything. It's a good thing I told Auntie to call me if something happens at home. Why did you come back so early? Don't you have cell study tonight? You should go up and finish your homework. Mom will ask Auntie to warm you some soup. Yi Jin Xiang, explain yourself to my mother. Is this what a good son should be? Look at him. He doesn't even look a bit like the successor of the Yi company. What gives him the right to get angry? I just inherited my temper from him. You're just overthinking it. I don't even know why I have that woman's things. You know that there are lots of people trying to get close to me, but I swear I've never even looked at anyone else. You liar, but I can't tell mom the truth yet. I've already realized a long time ago that your dad was acting weird, but only now did I gather the courage to confront him. But you heard your dad. I was just overthinking it and being too sensitive. Your father's busy with work. He needs to socialize with different people. So it's difficult to voice these kind of misunderstandings. You're still young. You should listen to mom and never bring this up again. Mom sacrificed so much for our family yet he doesn't even care. Yes, he has another family. Of course he wouldn't care about us. Maybe Cheng Feiji still isn't aware of his lineage, but he'll definitely realize it in the future. He might even succeed the Yi Company. But Yi Company was originally the Luo Company. All these belong to my mom. So what rights do Yu Jingjiang and Cheng Feiji have to act this way? I'm sure that he's just mocking me for my overconfidence. I can't let this slide. I have to take revenge. Ajin, why do you hate Cheng Fei Chi so much? That's... Let's just think of an excuse. I can't just go around exposing my family's dirty laundry. Do you remember that time you vandalized his bike? After you guys left? Fucking bastards, we can't forgive these type of people. If you don't teach him a lesson, he'll continue with his evil acts. So you guys have to help me think of a way to get back at Cheng Fei Wait, isn't he gay? Let's find someone who can play with him. Once they're finished with him, they can just dump him. A heartbreak is the greatest type of pain there is. As expected of someone with a lot of dirty laundry, you really know how to get back at someone. Then, who should be the one to seduce him? This person must be within our group. He must also be pretty. Why are you guys looking at me? It'll be too risky if we find someone else. Besides, why go through all the trouble when we have the perfect candidate right here? I think it'll work since Ajahn is so good looking. Wasn't Cheng Fei even deceived by his appearance and asked him to be a witness at the convenience store back then? 
No way, the two of us don't get along well. How could he be seduced by me? That's for you wrong. The more you have this kind of push and pull relationship, the more the guy gets interested. It sparks the guy's domineering instinct. Dominant my foot. Whoa, you got a lot today. Think there's enough for me? Yeah. Go ahead. Take as many as you want. Thanks, man. What a man. I know that girls send you love letters every day, and now they're even giving you breakfast? YQ? I don't think I know someone with those initials. Morning, Brother Chin. Morning, your ass. I knew that your stupid idea wouldn't work. That's impossible. If it was Yiran, she'd be overjoyed. Look at this, your... whatever formal shit. You even told me to use lovely. Do you even know how embarrassing that was? What do you mean? What the fuck? The breakfast was obviously for him. Why is he saying that you gave it to the wrong person? He's obviously just acting dumb. No shit, Sherlock. Why else would he leave his signature? So, what should we do now? Do I look like I know? I'm getting annoyed just by looking at it. Class president, do you want breakfast? Thanks, but I've already eaten. Why don't you ask the rest instead? Has anyone not eaten breakfast? I've got extra. Ask me, Dee, you sure haven't changed. You're still our little cute sunshine. Not anymore. Your sunshine has turned to a thunderstorm. And don't you dare call me cute. Good luck, Ajahn. We may have lost the battle, but we still haven't lost the war. Lose? I'm not backing down. We're winning this no matter what. So handsome, even I'm catching feelings. Get lost.
Where is he? Why is he so slow? Hey, get in. I'll take you home. It's fine, but thanks for the offer. Impossible. He probably couldn't see how handsome I look because of the rain. It's raining hard. Let me take you home. You're broke. Your bike can go into the trunk. What the hell? Yulin Street isn't even in that direction. Is he avoiding me on purpose? You gotta show your sincerity when you're ruining someone. Don't just focus on the showy gestures, pay attention to the small details too. But of course, the most important is consistency. Ajin, if you do as I say, Cheng Fei Chi's definitely gonna be yours. There's no way I'm letting you get away. Do you understand how to solve these type of questions now? Yes, thank you Mr. Cheng. Sorry for taking up your lunch break for the past few days. You taught me this last week, but the moment the questions change a bit, I'm clueless. Don't worry about it. After all, I'm your tutor. So Ed Zo thinks that was true. No wonder I keep losing. I think I know the top students' info. There have been a few people who saw Cheng Fei hanging out with this boy in the canteen the past few days. He tutored him and even cooked for him. You weren't even saw him open a bottle for the boy. The girls are talking about it. He's out and proud and he doesn't care what people think of him. It's only the girls who are blind enough to think that he's a heartthrob. He used the wrong approach. I mean, he's a guy. It only makes sense that he wants to be relied on. You should act weak, Rajin. Maybe even act like you're disabled. Cheng Fei Chi, just you wait. You should drink some water so you don't choke. You can have it. I'm not thirsty. I brought it for you. I have on myself. I can't open it. Can you help me?
Uh, this is so embarrassing. Just kill me already. Here. Thank you. The plan's working. At least I didn't buy this gear's outfit for nothing. Uh, you forgot your coke. You don't like coke? Do you want my juice instead? It's fine. I'm not thirsty. Are you hungry then? It didn't look like you ate much. Nope. Have you tried the milk candies from the commissary? Nope. Do you want to go to the toilet with me? I'm good. No wonder Lao Yifang calls him the little sunshine of the class. It's a pretty fitting nickname. Your first class physics? Mine's chemistry. This bottle's a little heavy. Can you help me carry it? Do it yourself. Damn it. He didn't even take one. I can't just let him go. The breakfast was for you, not for someone else. Oh? I rode my bike to school today. Wait for me after school. Okay, what's up? Is he playing dumb? I'm already being so obvious. I want to do homework with you. <laughs> 